Hi, and welcome to 50 Days of Keynote, 50 Things You Can Create for the Classroom, brought to you by me, Alicia Bankhofer. Day 35 is upon us. I'm going to show you how to use Keynote to create jigsaw puzzles. Why use jigsaw puzzles? Well, as you know, there are elements of a visual that are mixed up, so students are challenged to put them in the correct form or order, which really builds their critical thinking, logical thinking skills, as well as their visual literacy skills, and can be used in many subjects. Keynote is really cool because you can add a background to either images or shapes. Of course, because it's a digital tool, you can easily share it with students. They can also collaborate and you can just go crazy with the options, which you can fill in as a background. So what I would do is I would prepare the puzzle pieces first. As you see here, I've prepared them in squares and I've put them together. What you have to do is you make sure that the image that you choose fits the puzzle pieces when it's complete, as you can see here. Now I'm going to show you how to insert the image into the different puzzle pieces. So as you can see, I have my photo library open in split view. So I just drag and drop into a puzzle piece. As you can see, I can also, with my finger, resize, reposition the puzzle pieces or the image into the puzzle pieces as they're supposed to be. And so I can finish my puzzle like this. This is the option with shapes. The option with an image as a media placeholder is also really easy. Again, I have my photo or my media library open and I drag the image into the different puzzle pieces and I just reposition as I go along, which is really easy. So then I have a finished product like this that the students can take and correct. Here I have a wonderful idea that was given to me by Laura Wright. She even created the puzzle pieces as real jigsaw puzzle pieces. So you can, for example, ask them to describe what's happening in the picture when it's done. There are loads of other examples on the internet. I found two here, a teachers using puzzles for art or for history class to have the students really think about what's going on in the picture or describing the picture and researching what's going on in the background. Special thanks go out to Mrs. Laura Wright, Owen, Lisa and Ingo for helping me to understand how to do this. And I thank you for watching this episode of 50 Days of Keynote. All the videos are here and all the Keynote files 